Your Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Your Excellencies, uh, dear guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Uh, I am very happy and privileged. Uh, to see, I uh, welcome you today in the Doha Institute for Graduate Studies. Uh, in fact, it is a historical moment uh, uh, in which uh, we witness the visit of His Highness visiting uh, his uh, uh, institute, which is uh, very much supported by His Highness, uh, since it was just an idea until it became a fact, a reality. This is a historical moment that uh, in which you have confirmed your commitment to achieve the development uh, objectives and goals that you have expressed in so many occasions. Uh, Doha Institute for Graduate Studies as a development Arab uh, project uh, that uh, uh, has the goal of creating of a young generation of people in the different uh, uh, approaches and uh, majors uh, uh, in studies and topics that have been neglected by our universities and are well welcomed in Qatar and this institute to confirm their presence at the kind of science that contribute to the sustainable development and to face the challenges of our era uh, at the time when things are confused. Uh, the Doha Institute for Graduate Studies uh, endeavors to create an academic and research institution that uh, englobes uh, different uh, approaches and uh, disciplines uh, because it has been created to work along other institutes in Qatar to achieve a full integration and integrality that will advance the society in Qatar and the Arab society in general. The Doha Institute for Graduate Studies endeavors to confirm the Arabic language as a language of research and studies, and thus it complements a pioneer project, which is the Arab Center for Research and Policy Studies, with all its different activities, especially the Arab Indigenous and the Doha uh, historical uh, dictionary for in Arabic. Uh, and this institute has, since its beginning, uh, 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 attracted the good qualified uh, Perse Arab people uh, to work here and to achieve the goals of the institute uh, and uh, to attract the best of students from different Qatari universities and Arab universities. In such a way, the institute, since its beginning, has become a, a, a melting pot for different uh, uh, people and specialties uh, to be a garden and a place of research that will contribute in the uh, achievement of the noble goals of Qatar. After less than two years of its beginning, the Doha Institute with its university campus uh, is full of activity and of research and academic, uh, 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 there are different uh, research projects and different scientific uh, discussions along with participation in different conferences and seminars and uh, conferences and lectures presented by different scholars alongside the, institute, the training centers that the institute organizes for the civil service and uh, for other institutions. And also to have a lot of uh, student activities that underlines the kind of the high, uh, the excellent kind of students we have to be ambassadors of good and education for Qatar in the future. We are at the beginning of, of the, this our path, and what has been achieved so far is very promising and promises that we will have a prosperous future and our institute will become a, uh, a, a lighthouse for research and scientific activities. Your Highness, the innovation of the institute today is a beginning and a responsibility at the same time. The institute uh, uh, is encouraged by your support uh, because this institute in Qatar is for Qatar and from Qatar to the Arab nation uh, as a whole.
We hope that uh, these visits will be the beginning of other visits in the future through, through which you will follow up uh, closely the development of the, the work of the Institute in service of its goals. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. And now I am happy to call Dr. Hind al Deputy President for the Ministry of Financial Affairs, to give us a review about the Institute. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Your Highness uh, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of the State of Qatar, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, dear students, uh, Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Uh, I am privileged to present to you a short uh, review about uh, this uh, promising <laughs> academic institution, which is Doha Institute for Graduate Studies, which <coughs> we all hope that will be a, a center of education for the whole Arab world. <coughs> In fact, uh, the, uh, the, the, the institute was created uh, from the Arab Center for Research and uh, the Policy Studies and for the purpose on the vision, an Arab and Qatari vision <coughs> that focuses on preparing a new generation of Arab youth uh, as researchers, thinkers, intellectuals uh, in social sciences and humanitarian sciences and leaders and civil servants who are qualified and uh, to be decision makers who will be serving Qatar and the Arab nation. The idea of creating this uh, uh, institute for graduate studies in different disciplines of which some of them were marginalized academic speaking in the Arab and uh, Gulf uh, societies. <coughs> the project of the Institute since it began was supported by His Highness the Emir of the State of Qatar who has uh, said that so, uh, so in the Qatar Vision 2030 that uh, it should be, be accompanied by such academic studies and focus on the importance of the roles of the Arab elite uh, education that it uh, did. The creation of the Maha, uh, the Doha uh, Institute is, uh, comes along with the reform uh, uh, process that adopted by Qatar that aims to change Qatar by 2030 into an advanced uh, country that can achieve sustainable development and thus uh, to present a framework for uh, de developing uh, <coughs> global and comprehensive uh, uh, strategies for development that uh, achieves economic development. <coughs> The idea of the Sport Institute were began at the, uh, as, as consultations uh, began by the Arab Center at the end of 2010, and uh, so the Institute the, uh, began the, uh, developing this idea and study it and to decide its uh, policies uh, academically and on the search level as well as professional level and th and uh, that's why a lot of efforts were f were made in the beginning in uh, designing the academic and this uh, uh, structure of the institute this effort continued until 2013 when the first uh, board of directors was created for the institute and the design or structure of the institute was completed in a way that uh, uh, that is in line with the vision. And the uh, admission uh, began in 2015-16 for my master's degree, so social sciences, humanitarians, philosophy, uh, uh, linguistics, uh, compared literature, media, uh, general uh, uh, public administration, and economy. More than four years have uh, passed uh, uh, for the creation of the institute to such a way that this idea changed from an idea to a reality that englobes and includes all the aspects of education. And the first uh, uh, promotion began in 2015 in the campus of the University of Qatar. And the second promotion began in this uh, institute here, starting from this year, 2016. The vision of Institute of Doha 
uh, uh, began with the, the state to complement some uh, wrong ideas and about uh, soci social uh, studies and uh, uh, humanitarian and public administration. And that's why the mission of Madoha Institute is to create an academic institution for postgraduate studies, for social economies, humanitarian, uh, public administration, and uh, other aspects. Uh, uh, the academic goals of the center or of the institute will be achieved by teaching uh, and by focusing on scientific research in a way that to teach our graduates to be academics and professionals who can respect the professional criteria and the new and modern tools of uh, the research that has built on the uh, multidisciplinary uh, approaches in a way that's in line with the f social and intellectual development. And uh, the institute aims at using the Arabic language as a main language of studies, as long as other active languages. Uh, the first promotion of students were in this institute were, was of 155, uh, uh, stu 155 students uh, out of more than 901 uh, the, who were kept from uh, Qatar, uh, uh, Arab countries, and some and non-Arab countries, uh, and for 2,700 uh, uh, students uh, 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 who, uh, who presented, uh, applied for uh, the studies here, but only seven, uh, 300, uh, 239 were accepted uh, 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 through a, a, a thorough evaluation of their applications. In fact, the students of this institute uh, uh, constitute a galaxy of students from different countries of the world and uh, who, who have created very good communication and networking along uh, uh, with each other. Uh, which is a very new experience. And the institute has made, uh, has uh, employed Arab scholars from different universities uh, of the world who have uh, had a very uh, ex an excellent record. We began when the 34 uh, professors, and now they are 55, 56 uh, uh, professors. Uh, who come from uh, 16 countries, uh, and of course the faculty are uh, are encouraged to freely uh, undertake pro research projects uh, in a way to encourage uh, creativity without any limits on their academic freedom in choosing the topics they want to study or make researches about. Uh, the, the institute very much focuses on scientific research, who said that three of these professors obtained more than five million reals of finance for uh, researchers, and some of the other professors also obtained some grants for uh, their uh, research projects uh, on the national level and outside level from the Qatar University, uh, the uh, Jordanian University, Oklahoma, Princeton uh, Universities, uh, and uh, and also the Center of uh, Studies of Conflict Studies also have uh, projects for the saving the Islamic heritage in Syria and Libya and Iraq, uh, and also <coughs> in cooperation with Sharika Center. And we also have another proposal that was made uh, to the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In addition to some uh, publications, research publications that the professors of the institute, uh, despite its short age, uh, have uh, de developed in 2016. Because the institute wants to be a, a meeting point for academicians and researchers and their uh, networking uh, to study the different situations that Arab countries by scientific approach. That's why the uh, Institute organized two conferences, two international conferences, to attract Arab and uh, foreign uh, scholars to the uh, Institute. Uh, the Institute is part of the Qatari society, and that's why the, uh, it, it, it has a lot of memorandums of understanding with the different centers and ministries in Qatar. 
<coughs> such as the committee of the uh, different committees to organize uh, training courses for the different professionals and of the different ministries. Uh, the center has so far organized 178 uh, uh, training courses for the uh, middle and uh, upper uh, ma management of the civil service in Qatar, and uh, and the center is also part of the academic and research uh, society and community of the world, and that's why uh, students from the two universities in Morocco were invited here, and also the, the University of Birzeit in Palestine and Khartoum University, and these uh, students have approved their cooperative community because the institute has attracted a lot of students with full capacities. That's why the institute is planning to uh, to sign a memorandum of organization with Tunisia, Mauritania, and Algeria to attract uh, more students. Uh, in addition to that, other memorandums of understanding were signed with some universities on the local and regional international levels for conflict management, and also the institute is planning to sign a moment of understanding with the Qatari, Qatari uh, Red, uh, Red Crescent and York University in uh, Britain. The, uh, the Institute has always uh, coordinated its activities with the uh, Supreme Council of Education, Ministry of Education, until it was uh, uh, licensed by the Ministry of Higher Education in 2015, and the Institute be began gradually to obtain its uh, legal framework. <coughs> the institute, even before its inauguration, had, uh, uh, had uh, accredited a lot of its programs, such the pro its program for public policies, uh, and uh, has become member in NASPA Association in USA, and also programs of. Uh, on and also all the all the criteria of uh, the international accreditation of Britain were, uh, were taken into consideration in the social sciences we have. We are sure that our graduates will be best, the best ambassadors for this uh, academic institution for Qatar and the Arab world because they are the product of a uh, sustainable investment in, uh, in the Arab uh, man, and, uh, and this will not be only in the for beneficial to Qatar, but for all the Arabs in general. And this will uh, uh, confirm the Arab production in Arab language on the world level. That's why our ambitions are very high, and we still are planning a lot and a lot. Uh, in the coming years, we will have a new programs of master's degree in psychology, press, media, and uh, some uh, tradition studies. And we are planning for many agreements with different institutions, uh, academic institutions on the local level and international level. Finally, I would like uh, on behalf of the Institute to extend my thanks to His Highness Sheikh uh, Tamim Mohammed Al Thani for honoring us by uh, coming here to, uh, to attend our inauguration. I'd like also to extend my thanks to all who work at the Doha Institute for Graduate Studies as uh, professors and students for believing in the vision and vocation of the Institute. And, and now I call Dr. Azadine al Sheikh to present his uh, uh, presentation about the achievement that has been done, which is uh, the Doha uh, Dictionary for Historical Dictionary in Arab Language. In the name of Allah, Your Highness. Uh, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir. Ladies and gentlemen, peace and blessing be upon you. Arabic language uh, is similar to the other language, languages, and it has a dictionary, just like English language, French language, and it's one of the historical languages. <coughs> Indeed, uh, we are in need uh, for an encyclopedia or a dictionary for the Arabic language. Uh, we need uh, a tool for the Arabic language, just like the other languages. 
<coughs> we need uh, a guidance like the stars in the sky and of course uh, there are uh, obstacles uh, before any language yes we might have the financial support and the researchers and uh, enthusiasm and motivation however the project will remain in its place uh, until a clear vision uh, with uh, specific tasks are set uh, and developed with also uh, qualified people and high and efficient management the issue is similar to building a high tower but that tower should have high or should have a strong basis and foundation the Arabic encyclopedia, it's not like other encyclopedia, it's an encyclopedia which ha will have the memory of every uh, uh, word and uh, vocab and will also uh, in, uh, feature the historical uh, usage of uh, the term or the word and also some uh, text also to verify the information of the encyclopedia. The encyclopedia will uh, uh, present uh, the revolution of the Arab language uh, from the beginning uh, all the way to the current minute with your approval your highness the project was launched officially on the 25th of april 2013 after a series of meetings preparatory meetings and scientific meetings which hosted and linguistic experts from different arab countries and and experts of arabic language and linguists have selected the Doha as headquarter and dedicated themselves to work 27 or, or around the clock with a scientific uh, committee of course under the sponsorship of the Arab Center the plan or the plan for the encyclopedia aims to divide the history of the Arabic uh, uh, language into five phases starting with the most uh, historical verified Arabic text all the way to our current stage we start with 200 after uh, Hijra and the second one 500 of Hijra and uh, 800 of Hijra all the way to our current uh, uh, time and the resources with all uh, gathered into a bibliography and with all uh, also uh, inserted into an e a blog uh, it all will be uh, it all will have an index uh, and it also feature its conceptual uh, usage and it's expected for uh, this encyclopedia it, it will take 15 years in order to prepare this encyclopedia now let's talk about our achievements we have prepared a bibliography which uh, contain the arab uh, production over five centuries all arranged historically and we also build an e-blog which also contain the text uh, the first texts and also we uh, build an, ele an electronic platform that enable the linguists in order to process the uh, and c uh, conduct uh, supervision revision sorry and also uh, introducing a standardized process for encyclopedia insertion and also we have engineered all the processes that required the encyclopedia processes in a, a line uh, uh, time and also we have formed a, a teams in Qatar in Arab and other Arab countries and on to train them to encyclopedia processing and also we have taken a sample of Arab uh, terms and uh, piloted uh, 
this uh, historical uh, encyclopedia will be a step towards a um, language rise up uh, and we will gather all the Arab terms and texts in an electronic blog that will be the biggest ever and uh, those texts will be verified and review their authenticity and genuinity we will also review the revolutions of uh, and of these terms and uh, vocabs we, uh, uh, this work will be the foundation for other projects uh, for encyclopedias uh, such as word uh, or vocabs, uh, 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 environment uh, or ecology encyclopedia. And uh, as we have mentioned in the beginning, a group of highly qualified, uh, prominent researchers and uh, professors were selected in order to work on this uh, project. Uh, we want this uh, project to be a contribution to the Arabic uh, language. Those experts have uh, a long experience in encyclopedia uh, production and I would like to say that a project in such a volume only those who believe in its uh, feasibility can contribute to it. This is a nation a project. This is a project that will last. Uh, Your Highness, uh, the state of Qatar, by adopting this uh, civilized uh, project, uh, they uh, represent the whole uh, nation to uh, rise the scientific uh, revolution. And Doha will be called the capital of uh, encyclopedia, all encyclopedia. I am delighted to announce and you represent Your Highness uh, that we have uh, uh, prepared more than 55 5,000 words, which are the initial work of uh, this encyclopedia. None, uh, no other organization have done uh, a similar uh, uh, production. This is an unprecedented uh, uh, work, and we have uh, piloted an interface uh, which was designed by our IT people uh, waiting for the uh, uh, for uh, uh, the portal of the encyclopedia. The encyclopedia will <coughs> present <coughs> the Arab uh, uh, terms one by one. For example, if we, we wrote the Sheen uh, Hadal in Arabic alphabet, the first uh, thing we receive is the oldest usage of this uh, word. Uh, uh, taken also from the texts and context and also will show us the revolution of this uh, stem of the world and also the uh, uh, equivalent of this uh, word in other uh, uh, semitic languages. We may also search uh, on the interface on only the evolution of the words or we may also search only for the, uh, the uh, uh, formation uh, uh, of, uh, of the words only or uh, the evolution of the form of the language in addition to the words and their meanings uh, and perhaps and their meaning uh, also we have uh, <coughs> presented the synonyms of uh, each word uh, in Arabic language <coughs> all of that was documented uh, scientifically and verified in addition to that every word every term we could acquire its uh, context for example we might find thousands of the context where that term was used uh, and we might ex enlarge this context to see if the meaning in this encyclopedia or in the uh, uh, in is uh, right or not so every single piece of information is scientifically verified this is also uh, uh, the form or the printout of that uh, word will look like or terms so uh, 
Everything was taken in consideration when developing this uh, website and search engine in encyclopedias. Uh, other services that the, uh, uh, this search, uh, for example, if we look for the word Qatar, we will find the all this usage of this word, which is 270 before Hijra, <coughs> and we will also know the meaning and the evolution of this word all the way till today. Also, they provide bibliography services, also arranged uh, historically. We may also open uh, the books that these uh, uh, terms were mentioned, and we can also. Uh, review the book inside the encyclopedia, although it's in a PDF form, but we may also search any term. For example, the word Quraysh, we, we may also find it uh, wherever it's mentioned in the uh, book. We would like also here to mention that Qatar National Library have worked with us or in this uh, project also. The standardized uh, the evidence also can be found in this encyclopedia. All of that is an unprecedented. This is the first time this work is done. <coughs> May Allah bless your efforts and peace and blessing be upon you. Welcome to Doha Institute for Graduate Studies. This uh, center uh, contains many colleges uh, like the social studies. We teach uh, history, uh, comparative uh, language, uh, media, and uh, cultural studies, uh, uh, social studies, uh, and journalism, uh, which has uh, a new uh, introduction. And also, we have. Uh, uh, we provide masters and higher studies uh, or postgraduate degrees. In addition to that, we have the humanitarian and conflict uh, center. Doha Institute for Graduate Study is a Qatari uh, center was established uh, for the benefit of the Qatari society and uh, it's a step toward achieving Qatar Vision 2030. This uh, center was constructed uh, according to Arab and Islamic uh, uh, architecture. Uh, we have four buildings, four main buildings, which are uh, linked uh, through a bridge. In addition to the administrative and academic building, we have also five dorms uh, for uh, the students and uh, professors. Doha Institute uh, is uh, a magnificent place for studying. Uh, students from all around the Arab country are uh, joining uh, the center. We have, yes, 15 Ara non Arab, uh, 15 Arab nationalities, and we have non Arab nationalities. The center has programs that are unavailable in other universities or institutes. The uh, schooling starts uh, in the afternoon after we finish our uh, uh, full-time job. Since we are a research organization, we focus on scientific research, and a group of the professors were able to receive uh, uh, financing from Qatar Fund for uh, Scientific Research. What brought me to Doha is the focus on the Arab research. Coming back was important for me to the Arab world uh, for many reasons. The first one, the importance of the Arabic language. Uh, 
Doha Institute has given me the chance uh, to continue my studies in, uh, uh, in addition to that uh, it's a, a platform to exchange uh, point of views and uh, perspective with the students from different uh, background different culture so it's it, it it's a kind of uh, uh, a way for uh, inter-civilization uh, dialogue. Doha Institute uh, creates a conducive environment uh, for the students to excel and to innovate. Uh, and I'm very sure that the graduates of the center will contribute to Qatar Vision 2030. What distinguishes this center is that center is unique. It's uh, there, there is no other center or college that looks like uh, the center. This center is all Arab, 100% Arab. <coughs> What's amazing about this center is attracting the most outstanding professors with our, uh, uh, who, uh, those who worked in the, uh, in the West or those who are in the Arab uh, uh, region. Attracting such a uh, professor is a witness and a proof of the uniqueness of the Doha Institute. We want to build the Arab mind. This is dear to my heart uh, to uh, bring back uh, the Arab minds, the intellect uh, from the West to work in the Arab uh, state and for the welfare of the Arab people. Thank you very much. Your Highness, uh, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, thank you very much once again for attending this uh, celebration, this ceremony, and on behalf uh, of the professors, of the staff, uh, of the faculty, of everyone in Doha Institute, and also on behalf of the Arab Center for Research and Policies, uh, on Policy Studies, we uh, uh, reiterate our gratitude uh, for your presence here today and honoring us for attending our uh, ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated until the Emir and his uh, accompanied uh, delegation depart the room and thank you very much for your cooperation.